Right, in this video, I will show you how to make the package and symbol and device for the LM2596SX uh, voltage regulators. Um, so I already made it. So based on whatever uh, probably you have followed on the tutorial, you can pretty much make something like this. But however, I'm just trying to tell you um, there are something uh, a little bit a little mystic for for these packages. It's fine, it's working, uh, but however, it's just not perfect. So let's go to the package first. Since these two packages has the same uh, footprint, so if I go back here, uh, again, do not forget to change your grid to your your preferred one, which is uh, you made it by creating a new one by yourself, right? I have showed this in the, in the tutorial in the capacitors video. If you don't know how to do it, just go back to that video and check that out. So here is the same. Uh, this guy, this metal plate here should be grounded. That's the first thing I need to fix. And the other thing is I need to have a uh, solder, a T-stop layer on the top. So if I, for example, if I go to view, let's show all these layers. Uh, if I turn on T-stop, because by default, T-stop is not on. So you have to single click and turn it on. So you can see that, oh, did I do it there? Go to layers, T-stop, and OK. So you can see all these pads have a T-stop layer covered on the top. So which means that the paint, whatever, can be blue, can be black, can be green, or the PCB, is not going to cover this area. So because they are pads, right? So you are going to solder your uh, your chips to this to this uh, to the pads over here. So definitely you don't want any uh, paint on the top. But however, here you don't have anything. Uh, so that's why you need a T-stop layer. So what I will do is I will draw a polygon on the top of it. So I'll go to T-stop and go to polygon. So you can directly just draw it like this. You can even make it larger. Uh, I will start from here. And do this, do this, do this, do this. Okay, so in that case, you can see the metal has been enclosed. Uh, so they will be exposed to the outside. And also at the same time, uh, the metal doesn't have to be this shape. You can directly make a rectangular shape. So I draw it in this way is because it's showed on the data sheet, but I literally I, I find out it's not actually making too much sense to me. Um, here's another thing, because all these copper being poured to your PCB on the top and bottom, they are going to be the ground line. If you have a metal plate like this, but it's not grounded, so it's, it's like isolated island on the PCB, and it's not going to conduct any heat. So that's why it's not working really well. Uh, so what you need to fix over here is to make this uh, metal, the metal one, the top metal, to short, short it to the ground. So we have, I believe, there one of these pins are uh, is a ground pin. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will add a, a pad in the middle and short it to the ground. Um, or you can, you can just name it as a different pin, but finally you short it on your a schematic which will work as well so i would directly just place a pin in the middle oh it doesn't allow me to place it have i done that so i have done that so you want to delete this one and delete this one and replace it this right so pin six is in the middle so it's literally just a pin um over there you can make it larger, it doesn't matter because it's literally uh, just a, let's make it larger, like two by two, for example. So when it's trying to wire it to the ground line, uh, it's going to have a secret wire, hopefully. Um, but I don't think that matters. And now you save it. You, you still have to fix that because you, you are you are getting having a, an extra pin on your, on your layout, so you need that pin show up on your schematic as well and you want to remake that device so what i want to do is i want to close this one and go back to here and go to the symbol which is this guy 
and you need a, a extra pin. So one, two, three, four, five, right? So you need another pin, which is a plate. So what you want to do is go to here and just add it somewhere. Uh, I think it's fine to add it to the bottom because it is a ground pin anyway. But it's naming this guy as a pin one. Let's take a look at the properties for all the pins. Okay, so we want to name it as, um, it doesn't have to be pin one, right? So you can name it as plate, for example. Okay, so you know it's going to be shorted to ground uh, later on because you can manually short it to the ground. And this output pin, hmm, should I move it up a little bit? This looks weird. So I think I need to pick up the finer grid first. And what I will do is, uh, how can I show it? So probably like this. That looks weird. Mm. Yeah, I'll just do this. Okay. And save. So now you have an extra pin here. And close. And go back here and go to your device. Let's fix one by one. So for example, this one. And uh, you need a connect. You need to, you need to make a connection. So here is the actual one, and you want to make a connection here. And since you just add it to there, and OK, and save. It's the same for the other one, this one. And go to connect here, and OK, and save. So what you actually want to do is you really want to, you can manually short that pin, the plate pin, to the ground so in the layout they will be shorted together in the future okay i'm going to show you in the pcb's video this is just to let you know how to uh, fix the you know the problem in the layout and schematic of the lm 2596 device okay we'll see you in the next video